I'm really looking for your expertise for this one because I know it's shocking, but I don't really go to clubs. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. Hello, I'm Adriana. <laughs> like this. This week on Pillow Talk, we are talking about something that baby dykes do, oh. and then you stop doing it. It's um, going to the club, if they exist anymore. Mm. They don't in Toronto. Toronto had one legit like lesbian bar, oh. full-time lesbian bar, not like lesbian nights. You know, they closed down. This was, you know, we hit the clubs up when we were younger, and we were because uh -huh. we were like, oh my god, it's the only place I can see gay people. Let's go to the club. And now I'm like, I'm over gay people. I'm gonna stay at home with my cats. So this pill talk is um, just talking about what it's like going to a club as a lesbian mm -hmm. to a lesbian club. You go to the club expecting to hook up. You ain't hooking up. I mean, but also maybe like your experience is different than other people's experience. You are 100 percent because correct. I can think <clears throat> of a few people that hook up every time. You know, I think I have the average lesbian experience. <laughs> right. So this is something that would happen when I went to the club, which was, you know, 90 20 years, years ago. ago. <laughs> but for some reason, I would be at a lesbian club, lesbian club, and I would get hit on by men. Maybe they got lost <laughs> and didn't know where they were, or right. maybe they're just men and they're that confident in themselves. But that they could show up at a lesbian bar? And hit on me! And it's not like, guys, I'm not like a feminine girl and it's not like I passed for straight. I was, I was a butchy as fuck me? and what is happening? This is for you, honey. And I'm like, me? But also I think there's like the straight guys that are there with girlfriends. The girl can like move around the bar and it's like... Shout out to the L word for giving us unrealistic expectations about going out to the club. Because usually when baby dykes go to the club you think you're gonna go home with somebody like Shane. Yeah. But you just end up going home with a pizza. Yeah. How come I don't have like eight different girls coming up to me asking for my number and instead I have pizza and a pop and my Uber driver. You don't regret pizza in the morning. Oh, another thing that mainly going to the club is, uh -huh. is just, it's a whole night of just avoiding your exes. Because there's only one club, or there's only one lesbian night, and all the lesbians go to, to it. it. It's true. So the whole time you're just like, I can't go to the bathroom right now, Jessica's in there. Oh my god, I can't go to the bar right now, Allison's there. Oh my god, I can't go to the dance floor, Joanne's there. It's, that's the whole night. And then you end up making it with them later that night anyways. Now, what going to a lesbian or gay club is like is just bachelorette party city. Also true. What's uh, going to the club like in your city? Because that was basically Toronto, and I feel like that's most places. Yeah, and like how many lesbian bars do you guys have? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up for staying inside. Think about it. The point of going to the lesbian club is to find your lesbian lover so you don't need to go to the lesbian club anymore. So you can just stay at that's home true. with them. And that's why there are no lesbian clubs. Because we don't go out. We don't want them. So we don't like them. We, I answered my own question at the yeah. beginning of the video. We got, we got it. And if you guys are thinking about or attending Buffer Festival, oh, yeah. we're going to be in the Women of YouTube screening. Yep. So link is in the description. You guys can get your tickets to Buffer. We're going to be premiering a special video that will let you know what it is a little bit closer. To oh, things. excellent. How exciting. Okay, guys, thank you for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday. And this week on Pillow Talk, we're going to talk about how to get over someone. And guess mm. what? It's a really difficult thing to do, especially if they look like this. If they look like this, it's quite easy. Also, if you specifically would like to know how to get over a straight girl, that is a different video. Totally different video. It's totally different steps. It's much more difficult.